ahead was a mysterious convoy of large tanker trucks on a rural New Mexico ranch road that caught the attention of News 13 investigative reporter Larry Barker. The trucks traveled back and forth all day, every day for weeks. Just what were they up to? And what did state officials launch a high level investigation? Here's Larry's report, Trouble on the Prairie. There's trouble brewing on the prairie here in Santa Fe County's sprawling rangeland north of Moriarty. Now the issue that landed a prominent New Mexican in hot water is not apparent to the casual observer. But when state officials caught wind of what was happening here, they launched an investigation. The first clue to something amiss surfaced last summer after local residents noticed a parade of large tanker trucks on State Road 41 making round trips between a construction site and a remote spot adjacent to a cornfield. And in a two hour period there were six trucks that came in and pulled out and that was going on from early in the morning until you know, evenings. Sherry Weingarten lives just down the road. I would say that you're looking at anywhere from 25 plus trucks a day that we're pulling in and out. The convoy of trucks drove through this gate at all hours of the day, filled up their 5,000 gallon tanks at this pump station, and then headed out. They'd come back later for more. So what were they pulling out of the ground? Well, this is farm and ranch country where water is more precious than oil. So after millions of gallons of water was mysteriously pumped out of this well and then hauled away, the authorities were alerted. There was uh, water being pumped from an irrigation well at this location and transported four miles away to a construction site without a valid permit. Basically, the water is being illegally diverted. It is, that's correct. As New Mexico's state engineer, Mike Hammond, regulates surface and groundwater usage across the state. New Mexico is the second most arid state in the Union. We have a limited resource, particularly surface water. It's very critical for the state to do what it can to make sure that we have the water available for people currently living here and those that wish to come here in the future. Due to a concern for the underground water supply in this part of central New Mexico, water usage is carefully regulated by the state engineer. Anyone drilling a well here must have a permit. For example, well number E5495 is an irrigation well owned by the Bill King Ranch, a sizable Santa Fe County farm and ranch operation. Now, if the King name sounds familiar, that's because Bill is the son of former three-term governor, Bruce King. My father and my grandfather started here in 1917, and we've been farming and ranching here ever since. So it's been about 106 years. Down the road a few miles from the King Ranch is a massive pipeline construction project. In order to test the storage tanks, contractors needed water. When it came time to test the tanks, they said they needed water to fill up the tank to test it to make sure there was not a leak. And so I had this well, 5495. I said, yeah, we'll sell you the water and you can test the tank. So how much water did they purchase from you? They purchased uh, 6 million gallons. But here's the rub. Irrigation well 5495 is permitted for agricultural use only. Without a permit, the commercial sale of water from this site constitutes a violation of the state's water code. There was uh, water being pumped from an irrigation well at this location and transported four miles away to a construction site without a valid permit. They did not come in and properly permit the, the transfer of that water to that purpose and place of use. Neighbors like Sherry Weingarten says unregulated use of water in the Estancia Basin impacts everybody. I have no issues with people 
irrigating their crops. But I do have problems with someone using a well not for the purposes it's intended for. The well is an irrigation well. It's not meant for commercial use and all of us are on wells out here. So as that water table drops, um, more and more people's wells go dry. The fact that you were selling the water to a construction company, you weren't trying to hide it or anything, were you? No, it's pretty hard to hide big semi trucks hauling it down the road in the middle of the day, every day. I wasn't trying to hide it at all. Today, Bill King admits the unpermitted sale of water was an oversight. When you sold the water to the construction company, did you realize that you didn't have a valid permit for that? No, I didn't. They came and told me they wanted me to stop and they wanted me to apply for a permit. So I applied for the permit. Oh, I'm gonna do whatever they tell me I have to do to make it right. I, the state engineers got authority over the water and I'll do what they say. Did the King Farms follow the rules as it related to water usage of this well? Uh, this particular activity was not properly permitted. They were actually allowing a contractor to utilize that, that water offsite for a construction purpose. Today, are there tanker trucks still pulling out to the well no. and pulling water out? No, no, but I mean, there won't be any doing that there until the engineer decides what my punishment is and what I have to do in the future to make sure it's right. The state engineer has now penalized the Bill King Ranch for 14.6 million gallons of water for unpermitted commercial water hauling. That means for one year, Bill King will not be allowed to irrigate some 35 acres of agricultural Land. We have a limited resource, and, and particularly in the Estancia Basin, we do know that excessive pumping would really cause hardship and significant loss to a number of people if that aquifer were to be completely drained. You can't escape this. The name King in New Mexico means something because of your dad's legacy. Right. Do you think you're being picked on because you're Bruce King's son? No, I don't think so. I, I think, I, I, I understand that water is very valuable in this valley and that I happen to own a lot of it and, and, and I want to take care of it, so I, I don't think that at all. Larry Barker, KRQE News 13. To learn more about the state engineer's investigation, go to alwaysonkrqe.com.